it's early. I'm going to try and speak. Good morning. How are you all doing? It's Sunday, the 2nd of October. I'm awake really early. I can never sleep late. I'm always up. Mark is fast asleep. You've just seen the dog. Still not bothered. So he's probably gone to bed now with Mark because there'll be a gap in the bed where I should be. So we're having a slow start. Coffee, a candle, and some gentle lighting. The tripod, behind the scenes. This is why you're really here. So yeah, welcome to Sunday. Got some wool and a crochet hook. I'm going to attempt to finish Ruth, the French hen. That's my plan. But first, a bit more coffee. And probably pop the news on and see what's happened overnight around the world. Morning. We're going to have a finished object in this video. Yes, we are. Right. I have stuffed Ruth's head and body. I've done two wings. I did those yesterday. I'm not claiming I'm that fast. Did two wings. I've done two legs. And I've done a beak. So I've done a leg and a beak this morning. So it's half past nine now. So two hours slow crochet i've got the london marathon on i'm watching all the mentalist runners good luck to everyone i'm not doing it i've got another coffee the dog's been in you've just seen i think depends how i edit it um so yeah so i'm gonna sew the french hen up i need to sew all my ends in first and then uh saw the bits on and then she's got an updo and a furry tail which i crochet directly onto the body so we're gonna start vlogtober well with a finished object although i might <laughs> i might show this off in my month end wrap up because i'll have finished it before the month end wrap up i know i didn't technically finish in september i did finish the body in september i'll work out 
whether I can claim it or not. <laughs> the end of the year is all going to be a bit bonkers, so I think I'm just going to talk about all my finished objects. Um, but she's not going to get sewn up if I keep chatting to you, so I'll be back and I'll show you where we get to in a moment. She's finished! I love her hair. Bonkers hair. A beak sticking up. I need to try and get that beak down. Uh, so there she is. She's done. Little fluffy tail. So that is Ruth the French Hen, which means now it's now October. I'm now only three behind again. We'll see. I think my plan, when I said do two birds, I think my plan was to do this one plus another. So I'm then going to start November only two behind. We'll see. Uh, someone's up. It is now, change hands, uh, 11 o'clock. So you know I've been up since 7.30. So what? I'm not a weirdo. Once I'm awake, I'm awake. Would you rather me be up or disturbing you? Sure. True. Uh, so it's taken me, half a seven, half a eight, half a nine, half a ten, three and a bit hours to do a leg, a beak, and the hair and the tail and sew it up. That's all right. I can cope with that. Dog's gone back to bed. Of course he has. I'm still drinking coffee. I've switched to decaf now, though. I've had three normal coffees. Two coffees? Anyway, I'm not sure what's coming up now. Um, I love her hair. I'm not sure what's coming up next. Um, whether there'll be any more for Sunday or whether we'll just skip straight to Monday. But you'll find out now in a minute. It is now two o'clock and I've made a start on the jumper. A start to start, I'm gonna have this done tonight. So I'm on the ribbon, obviously. Um, but I have to go and take his lordship home now. And yeah, I can't find any nice light. Um, I've taken his lordship home now, so um, I'm going to go and do that. Look, should we go in the car? Do you wanna go in the car? Yeah? yeah? We're going in the car. <gasps> Wait, are we, are we? Should we go in the car? I love how you get excited if I raise my voice. <gasps> should we? Are we going in the car? Are we? Where's your lead then? Where's your lead then? Where is it? Are we going? Oh, give me a high five. Oh, you cutest little boy, aren't you? Uh, right, yes, yeah, so I've got to take him home. <laughs> He's so much fun. Um, but a lot of you ask if Mark is a knitter or a crocheter. And he's not. Um, as you know, he's attempting Bargello. And I say attempting because he can do it. He just isn't a crafter like me. He's just sat on the sofa for two hours and just watched Italian play on his phone. When I said, that's two hours of sewing you could have done, Mark. Wasn't it? Yeah. But Mark is a baker. So I just thought I would quickly show you. He's made... Look at that loaf of sourdough. Uh, he made us one. And then this one is for my parents. So... I'm going to go and deliver the sourdough to my dad. My mum's in work. He's there. Off camera. Shy. <laughs> right, we're going. I'm not sure whether you're going to see anything else now in this video. Probably. I'll update you later on the jumper. I was trying to think, what project was I working on? The jumper. Right, you ready? Ready? Yeah. Right, we're going. I'm back. Um... I've just finished work. Work from home today. A rare treat. So it is now the... Mark, what date is it? Fourth? What? Is it the fourth? Yeah. Hmm, it's the fourth. Um, so I didn't do any filming yesterday. And I didn't do any knitting. And I know this is the Knit365 blog because I knit a little bit every day. But I didn't. Um, yeah, it was a bit of a crazy weekend, wasn't it? So we did the live, thanks of you that, thanks to those of you that joined. Um, so we did the live on Sunday night, which was super fun. And then Monday morning, I recorded my 
September roundup. And I thought I would just show you this behind the scenes. <laughs> that is the other side. So I usually sit here with the, uh, the cabinet behind me. And then on the floor in front of me, tripod, because I do this on my iPhone. Um, and then I had my wool that I showed off for my kit. Um, my book with all my bits in. My pile of finished objects, my iPad that I refer to, projects. And then these crates, we'll explore these in future editions, but these crates here are where my stash goes. Um, so yeah, that's as far as we got. Um, I've started the front of Mark's jumper, which is great. I've done uh, eight rows and I need to do 30. So my plan tonight is to finish the ribbon um it's tuesday and then tomorrow wednesday i'm going to wind the wool so this video is going to go up on wednesday because thursday is the clue release so i want to have a clean break so i'm going to put this video up um tomorrow so i will do a bit of knitting on this and then i'll check back in a bit later show you the progress. Hopefully you're all going to keep me honest and I'm going to get the ribbon done. Do you think I'm going to get the ribbon done? Place your bets. It's quarter to six. Uh, I'm on a 2.75 mil needle. It is tiny. It's nearly a sock needle, isn't it? I don't know why I keep doing this with my eye. Like I'm a pirate. Ooh, um, so yeah, place your bets. Is this ribbon going to get finished this evening? Um, but I'm going to edit this together. This is a bit of a a crossover video because I started this blog on the weekend before the live and before my September roundup. I'm trying to work out what the best light is. It's the lights are on. It's artificial. It's very grey and dreary outside and is blowing the camera. I don't really know where to stand. I don't really know where this segment's going either. Um, but yeah, it's a bit of a crossover video because it started before some of the other videos that have been live on the channel but we'll finish after those videos. So, I don't know. Um, <laughs> these are the vlog tour videos. They're always meant to be 10 to 15 minutes and a bit a bit crazy. It's real life, hey? <laughs> so I'm gonna go and do the ribbon. We're having a, I think we're having chicken stir fry for tea. I probably won't show you that. I don't think it's gonna be that interesting. I'm not sure who's cooking. Mark might be cooking, maybe. Um, so yeah, I'm going, I will be back in a little bit. I'm back. <laughs> it's now five past six. I'm eating a breadstick and I've not yet started. So those of you that just said, of course he's going to get the rib finished tonight. You might want to rethink your plan because I've already spent 20 minutes. I don't know what I've done. I've just been chatting to Mark. We've got washing to hang up and we've got to cook tea. I'm sorry, I know it's very rude to chew and talk at the same time. Um, do you have a preference? We're having a negotiation. To, do you do this if you're in a couple? Negotiate on tasks? I've said I don't want to hang the washing up and cook tea. I don't really want to do either. But what are you doing? You're going to do the washing, which means I've got to do tea. No, I'm just going to do everything because you have to do that. <laughs> it's rude, isn't it? Well, you never do. <laughs> He's had a very busy day at work and I don't think I'm helping. Um, yeah, there we go. What? <laughs> he said something. Mm, I don't know. I've had a very busy day talking to people. He doesn't like me working from home because I'm noisy and disruptive apparently because I spend five hours on Teams calls. Um, oh, don't swear. He said, I'm very sorry. I'll have to beep that out. Right, I'm going. <laughs> now I'm going to start some knitting, maybe. And now it's Wednesday. So, what did you decide? Did I make it or did I not? What do you think? Are you ready for the big reveal? 
I did it. Woo! -hoo! So I finished the rib. Um, we watched some telly. I did it in bed. I don't like doing two by two rib. I don't like doing rib really because I don't really like purling. I'm one of those. If I could just knit everything, I would. Um, I'm by the plant. I'm trying to find some weird light um, or not weird light. Mark's making noises. It's fine. He's making bread. I know, right? Um, so yeah, I have finished the rib and that's the end of this video. So I hope that you've enjoyed video one, I think we'll call this, or episode one of Vlogtober 2022. The rest of the blogs will follow along this line. So there'll be little snippets of my day as we go throughout October. Um, I'm going to wrap this one up now. It's Wednesday morning. I'm going to get this edited together and then I can get myself off to work. Um, and then the next episode is going to start later today on Wednesday. So another crossover episode where I'm going to start winding my wall because ah, it's mystery knit along Eve because it starts tomorrow. So I'm going to go and wind my wool and that'll be in the next edition. So I hope that you've enjoyed this episode. Click that subscribe button if you are not subscribed to my channel and you've just found me, you're very welcome. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe, but it helps me to grow my channel and my little community here, which is wonderful to have you all part of. So um, stay tuned for more Vlogtober fun. And until we speak again, happy crafting.